Hello fellow heroes, this is Sean. Welcome to Hero of the Table. Today I'm going to be working on another batch of models for Mortal Gods. This time I'm going to be painting up some Parapoli. These guys are going to be lightly armored hoplites. They carry a shield but they don't have body armor. I've cleaned these models up and primed them with the gray. I put a little bit of uh, basing texture on their bases and uh, we're going to paint them up. First up I'm going to paint their flesh with basic flesh next up I'm gonna paint their tunics I'm gonna go with some earthy browns for these um, got a couple of colors here got khaki khaki gray cork brown and tan earth Next up, I'm going to paint their boots and their straps and the wraps around the spears. I'm going to paint with uh, leather brown. Next up, I'm going to paint the uh, spear with dark brown. Next, I'm going to paint the tips of the spear with steel. Next up, I'm going to wash all the skin with seraphim sepia. Next up, I'm gonna paint their armor. So it's gonna be helmets and shields. I'm gonna paint them bronze. But first things first, I'm gonna do an undercoat of tan earth and that'll give a nice coat for the bronze color to go over. All right, now I'm gonna paint the armor with weapon bronze. Next, I'm going to wash the bronze areas with Agrax Earthshade. Next up, I'm going to wash the armor with Purple Tone. Just a little bit on these to give them an interesting aged look. Next, I'm going to paint the bases with tan. Next, I'm going to paint the plume. I'm just going to paint it with flat red. All right, next I'm gonna wash over the plume with Agrax Earthshade. Next up, I'm gonna add texture to the bases. I've got some uh, Luke APS Desert Sand and Stone. Uh, this is sold under Geek Gaming now, but I got it from Footsore, Footsore North America. So I've got some wood glue, I'm going to spread around on the base and then sprinkle on this uh, base ready material. Next I'm going to do a little bit of flocking on the bases. I'm going to put a couple of different textures and colors down. 
got some static grass. I've got some uh, standard flock that I'm going to use and just put little clumps on them to give them a little bit of variety. For the shields on these, I decided to use the Little Big Men Studios transfers. Um, I got a couple of different sets to just give a little bit of variation to the design on them. Um, I tried to do one without painting it white, and you can see what it looks like. I don't dislike how it looks, but uh, it doesn't stand out as well, so I decided to paint the uh, the background white on the shields and you can see they stand out a little bit better to do that I just painted it white still got that bronze going back I, I probably wouldn't paint the bronze over that to, to start with I would just do it white uh, to, to start with but next batch I'll do do that way so for the transfers I cut out the shapes, I scored the back. I don't know if you can see that. This process was in a video that was posted by Footsore Minis. I'll put a link to it in the uh, top corner. But these, these transfers are a little bit different. So there's a clear plastic cover on the front and you're gonna take that off and then it's sticky. So then that face is gonna get pressed onto the shield itself. And then you apply a little bit of water to the back to this paper and that comes off so the transfer stays on there and it's kind of a re reverse image. Well I finished painting this batch of lightly armored hoplites. I'm very happy with how they turned out. I really like these shield transfers. Uh, they add a lot of character to the models. They're surprisingly easy to work with. I've not done a whole lot of transfers and they're always kind of a struggle to fight with. These turned out really well. I'm happy with them and I will definitely be using them more. So again, these models are the Parapoli from Mortal Gods, or Lightly Armored Hoplites. I've also painted some Peltists with Javelins and some Slingers with Slings. Uh, if you want to see how I painted those, you can find the link to them up in the right corner. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, these are not professionally painted. They're a pretty basic standard paint job but I think they will look very nice on a table and they will make your game a little bit more immersive. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this and the other projects that I work on, you can subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below. Remember, you don't need to be an expert to paint your models. Even a basic paint job will make for a better game. Thanks for watching.